We're back now with breaking news. Actor Alec Baldwin has been indicted on manslaughter charges over a deadly movie set shooting in New Mexico. This is the second criminal case against the actor. The original case was dismissed last April. The charges stem from the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins in October 2021. Let's bring in NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. So, Danny, Baldwin was indicted by a grand jury earlier today. What do you make of their decision to recharge him? I'm astonished. It's a bad decision. I normally try to stay neutral on cases. This is a bad prosecution. Just look at the history. First of all, this shooting happened in 2021. Uh, the prosecutions had access to all the evidence since day one. And here we are in 2024. During that time, I'll give you a brief recap. They charged Alec Baldwin. Then they had to downgrade the charges because guess what? Out of two charges, one of them, nobody realized in the prosecutor's office, was an unconstitutional charge because it was based on the statute that was passed after the shooting happened. Then the charges were dropped completely. So you know who didn't think Alec Baldwin was guilty of anything? the prosecution, and now they reindict him four years later. This is 2024. The shooting happened in 2021. Uh, this is a case that is a zombie case. It has died. It has been reanimated, and now it's shuffling along, uh, waiting for a probably very well-prepared, very well-funded defense team uh, to finally put it out of its misery. And let's dig into the defense, because we have heard from Baldwin's team, and it was a short statement. They just said, we look forward to our day in court. If you were defending the actor, what would your strategy be here? And is this kind of thing usual? We don't have enough time, but I'll give you my bullet points. Number one, there are two other defendants. One has taken a guilty plea, the first assistant director, and one, is, one case is pending against the armorer. They're not charged as co-conspirators. No one says they acted together. So as a defense, you say the state themselves think two other people are responsible, responsible beyond a reasonable doubt. So what is Alec Baldwin's responsibility here? In addition, reports were issued separately that this was a global failure by a lot of different people. So what about my client, Mr. Baldwin? What specifically did he do? He's got the defense that he didn't even believe he was holding a real firearm. He believed he was holding a prop. And he was entitled to rely on the experts who told him, hey, that is a safe gun. Uh, look. At the end of the day, there are so many ways you get to reasonable doubt. I spoke to many different experts. Uh, it's 50-50, 50-50 to me, not beyond a reasonable doubt. All right, Danny Savalos with that analysis on breaking news. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.